how to renew a step one TV skin test every year. If your previous two step TV skin test was both negative result, you must renew a step one TV skin test only. As you can see, the student had proof of previous two consecutive steps done in the past and both result was negative. If that's the case for you, please book an appointment with your doctor and just do a step one TB skin test and bring your health form documents with you. On your doctor's appointment, the nurse will do a skin test one on your left arm and then you will go back after two to three days for a follow-up appointment to get it read and the nurse will check if there's any bump around it and they will measure the size of the bump. Make sure that all of this information are documented on your health form. So on your new health form documents, make sure that the doctor write down all the skin test date, all the reading date, and the exact measurement of the annual skin test. If your previous TB skin test was always positive or more than 10 millimeters, no more TB skin tests required. Please ask your doctor to do a physical assessment of your lungs and answer TB questions below, letters A to F on the form. Also, please make sure your chest x-ray report is renewed every two years. As an example, this student had positive TB skin tests in 2019. Therefore, no more skin tests required for this student. So the doctor just document the, the old skin test date in 2019, the old reading date in 2019, and the exact measurement of the skin test that was read in 2019 but your doctor will need to do an annual physical assessment of your lungs by answering letters A to F on the form. And your chest x-ray must be valid every two years. So make sure that you ask for a copy of your chest x-ray re report from your doctor and attach it to your form. Also, please make sure that your doctor finalizes your health form with their signature date and stamp. Please note that the TB skin test is not covered by OHIP. You may have to pay for that service at your doctor's appointment and also for the doctor to sign date and stamp your form. Should you have any questions, please double check the instructions on your form for more details or you can contact me directly.